This is the Lenovo Lemon K12. We have four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, a 6.5 inch 20 by 9 aspect ratio, 5000 million power battery, the Snapdragon 460, 48 megapixel camera, all for around $120. So yeah, let's open this up. This came like this, so yeah, that's usually not a good sign. I don't know why they did that, but okay. That was a quick unboxing. So it's plastic. It feels like higher quality plastic compared to other phones out there. In the box, you have a bunch of Chinese stuff, like, oh, wow. I'm guessing you got the Chinese version, so this won't work in my country. Need an adapter and our micro USB cable, which for this price, I mean, type C is what we should have gotten. And the bootloader is unlocked. What the actual heck? Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing they flashed some sort of custom ROM on this, I guess. What the hell? Okay, the f so yeah, that was weird. Yeah, the bootloader's unlocked, the package came unsealed, two red flags already. Um, but yeah, we're gonna review it anyway, set up, and I'll get back to you. I don't know if you can see it on your end, but the screen protector makes the image look really bad. Much better. Alright, so as you can see, I sent a picture of, to the seller. He says, yes, it's true, they need to open it up to install the global RAM on this, because this is a Chinese phone, all right? There's no global version, there's no European version. If you wanna buy this phone, it's like a China only model. But what the seller has done is he bought these phones, he unlocked the bootloader and flashed the, the global, a global version of this RAM. So that means like the bootloader is gonna be unlocked and you're gonna get that annoying warning message. So it's a not a problem for me, but it might be a problem if I wanna sell the phone. So there's lots of noobs out there like, oh, what is this? Is there a problem? So yeah, we're gonna see if, you know, buying a phone like this is worth it. And I, this stuff personally doesn't bother me. The fingerprint sensor is pretty recessed into the body. I didn't even get the reminder. <laughs> it's a weird setup process, to be honest. Motorola, why is it Motorola though? I don't, I don't get it. Subscribe for emails, no, no, <laughs> oh my God. Carrier location. No, what the? What is this? Yes, yes, I know how to use gestures. And yeah, that this looks pretty interesting. But overall, the phone, you know, thanks to our Snapdragon chip, it feels pretty snappy so far. Okay, so while I'm installing apps, let's see if we have a face unlock. And why I really like the speed of this phone so far, Moto E7 Plus. I'm guessing like they installed some sort of Motorola ROM on this on this phone. It's like really weird. All right, there's our face unlock. I mean, so far this round seems okay, apart from the Motorola thing. All right, first up, let's try the fingerprint sensor. Huh, what is this? Okay. Uh, pretty snappy. Okay, now face unlock. So I guess, uh, so, okay, so we gotta swipe up for it to work. Oh, actually, or you don't. Okay, now close up. Face unlock is, pr is pretty slow, but when it's closer to your face, that's when it works the best. Not like how I'm holding it in front of the camera, but yeah, face, face unlock, finger bit unlock, overall, pretty decent. Kind of stuttered, let's try that again. Now, let's see without ads. Huh. No lag or stutter whatsoever. Very nice. Okay, very impressive. We're playing Wind Rider. Okay. It was like 60 FPS for a second. They're now kind of slowed down. But overall, an enjoyable experience. So yeah, no lag, no stutter, only problem is the frame rate. Oh, there, see, now it's 60 FPS, so the frame rate is a bit inconsistent, but overall not a huge deal. So yeah, I downloaded the low graphics pack, and so far, um, it's not the highest frame rate, but it is pretty consistent, which is important. And that's what Snapdragon is known for, like consistency, even if it is like the lower end Snapdragon models. 
so yeah i mean this phone is pretty good for gaming overall light games heavy games this phone should handle it all just the heavy games not on the highest graphics that's for sure So the speaker is actually pretty damn good. So it gets decently loud, the quality is good, especially for the price. So I'm really enjoying the speaker on this phone. So our main camera is, let's go into the settings here. Okay, so this is interesting. We have the settings here for our rear camera, the front camera, even the video quality. So see, rear camera, 12 megapixels recommended, but on the bottom it says 48 megapixels, quad pixels. So I don't really understand that. We're just gonna keep it like that. So let's say 12 megapixels. Okay, so rear camera is full HD, but we can bump that up to 60 FPS. We're gonna do that and selfie video. It keeps rotating, it's so annoying. Selfie video is full HD. We can, do, we can also do 20 by nine, but we're gonna keep it like, like that. Selfie camera is eight megapixels and yeah. No, 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 what? No, not the Google Lens. I just want to open that selfie camera. There you go. I look kind of... Oh, face beauty mode is on. Turn it off. Much better. Let's go outside. Okay, this is supposed to be 60 FPS full HD, but on my end, it is stuttering. Let me uh, let me know you, if you guys see. Um, yeah, so you're facing video on the Lenovo Lemon K12 full HD, 60 FPS apparently. And if the 60 FPS like is is the actual result, because right now for me it's pretty it's stuttering. Then yeah, I would say this is like pretty good video quality, like actually very good. Uh, on mine at least, it looks pretty good. So, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Front facing video on the Lenovo Lemon K12, also full HD. And on my, on my end it's stuttering, but that just might be a weird glitch, I don't know. Um, Uh, yeah, if you, if, you, if you could vlog on this thing, that's for sure. But the question is if the quality is good enough. So yeah, that is pretty much it. So should you buy this phone? What if, what if you don't care that this is a Chinese phone with a custom ROM flashed onto it? So it'll be like like global then yeah i mean i think you're getting a great deal for this phone i mean the performance is decent the display is decent the speaker is pretty good the cams are pretty good the battery life i haven't really tested the battery life but it has a huge battery so like it should last you a really long time so yeah i think this phone is definitely worth it for for the price if you're buying this from aliexpress only problem is like since the bootloader is unlocked you might not get updates I probably wouldn't get updates anyway, but yeah, I really enjoyed this phone. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.